What's up everybody, Eric here, and it's time for another edition of this week's Let's Talk. This week, I wanna do something a little different. I'm gonna do a top five most powerful DC heroes, but minus the Holy Trinity. You may ask yourself why exclude the Holy Trinity of Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. Partly because I'm not fond of top five lists that include these characters because they'll always be in the top three slot somehow rearranged. So in my list, we're gonna kick them out <laughs> And we're going to focus on five other characters that I think deserve a little time in the spotlight. Number five is Captain Adam. No, not the Adam. Captain Adam, aka Nathaniel Adam, was a United States Air Force officer until he participated in a military experiment that turned him into Captain Adam. Those pesky but brilliant experiments. It reformed his body and turned him into a being of atomic power. His metallic skin is connected to the quantum field, which gives him the gift of absorbing and manipulating energy. He can create basically anything his mind wishes. Yes, that's right, he's only limited to what he wants to create. Captain Adam can also absorb infinite amounts of energy and is also able to fire energy in the form of blast. He can also detonate himself like a bomb and release huge amounts of energy all at one time. His superhuman strength allows him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Superman. There were some changes to him in the new 52 universe. His power is tied to tapping into the nuclear force instead of the quantum field. However, even with that change, you can tell this is one explosive hero. Number four is Dr. Fate. He's a powerful sorcerer. Dr. Fate, AKA Kent Nelson, burst into the scene in 1940 with the secrets of conversion of energy and matter and matter and energy. However, his powers were eventually adjusted so that most of them came from that spooky, mystical gold helmet of fate. So for starters, he's immortal. Even if he wasn't, he's Dr. Fate. He would know his own destiny, right? Along with being a super powerful sorcerer, he has the ability to use astral projection stuff. He can travel through dimensions as well as the ability to heal people. His abilities can match and surpass most other magic users in the DC universe. When it comes to fighting, he has an array of powerful abilities to take on any foe from energy blast to conjuring up some fire spells. He's so hot right now. There is a downside though. He's considerably less powerful when he doesn't have his helmet, though he's still immortal and mostly invulnerable. Also, he has to recharge his powers after usage, so he could probably get some help from those quick charging battery packs we use for our phones, except, you know, the all-powerful magic kind of battery packs and where would he plug it in? Number three is the Spectre. Not to get too religious here, but he's basically a god working for the god? Man, it's so confusing sometimes. Spectre is an entity that is the physical embodiment of God's vengeance in flesh. He first appeared in 1940, and since then he has used several characters as his host. It's a long list, probably long enough for another video. His powers seem limitless because he's technically a servant of God. What a boss, right? Second only to the presence, which is by most accounts, would be considered the DC version of God, their God. <sighs> See what I mean? So confusing. Almost like Captain Adam, he is said to be capable of any feat he can imagine. Controlling time and warping reality are a couple of his favorites. You know, just the party favors. Although he is immortal, he can be injured or slain by powerful magic or advanced enough technology, but since he isn't bound to any one physical body, he just keeps coming back, like that damn itch you can't get rid of. Hold on for a second though, he isn't the perfect hero. He's prone to being tricked and manipulated, which can sometimes make him seem a lot less like a hero and more like an anti-hero or a villain. Either way, he scared me into putting him into number three. Number two, Martian Manhunter. Okay. Time for the little green man from Mars. Well, green, but not so little. Martian Manhunter has been around for ages, but his origin story has changed a bit just like his look. In the New 52, Martian Manhunter, aka John Jones, travels to Earth to undergo a rite of passage meant to show him what it's like to live alone. However, when he returned to Mars, everything was crispy and he couldn't telepathically reach anyone. I guess they took that being alone prank a bit too far. In another version, he was sort of a peacekeeper or a Martian version of a police officer, trained in detective work and combat skills, which would help him later on as a hero of Earth. His list of superpowers were pretty natural to all Martians, including telepathy, flight, super speed, and super strength. When it comes to power, he is strong. 
one of the few guys who can hang Superman out to dry if he needs to. The ability to shapeshift and control his size also adds to his strength, powers that are sometimes adjusted depending on the version of Manhunter we're talking about. Most of the other heroes on this list should be green with envy over what this guy can do. <sighs> that was so bad. <laughs> Last but not least, my number one most powerful superhero in the DCU is The Flash. Well, why not? He's the fastest man alive. He uses the speed force to tap into all kinds of cool superpowers to go along with his super speed. While the Flash technically doesn't have super strength, his ability to use super speed makes his punches hit with so much force you would think Superman took a swing. No really, he can punch that hard. He is able to move and react by the auto second. One auto second is to one second what one second is to the age of the universe. That's fast, that's really fast. This makes the speeds he can reach almost immeasurable. Like you can't measure them. Like not measurable at all. He can use matter created with the speed force to form solid objects as well as move through solid matter like it's not even there. Like your front door without even knocking. We've had several versions of the Flash. Barry Allen is my personal favorite, the one known for creating the speed force. We also have Jay Garrick and the one people would say is the most powerful, which is the Wally West version of the Flash because of his amazing control over time travel using the speed force. But no matter what version of the Flash you pick, they can all take the top spot on this list. I heart the Flash. So what do you guys think of my picks? Agree with me? Disagree with me? Disagree about my order or think someone doesn't belong on this list? Be sure to let me know in the comments by either tossing me all the love in the world or giving me tons of insults and talking trash about me and telling me I'm wrong. Either way, have a great week, and I'll see you guys next week for another Let's Talk where we might try something different. Don't forget to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. Let all your friends know, and um, let's have a great week, you guys.